Hello everybody, my name is Henry Shin and I am an orchestral conductor and pianist and I have been with the SF Arts Ed family since 2001. Fast forward to 2019, just that's just last year. West Side Story has always been on our short list because we thought we got to do this at some point. It's not the most kid-friendly one, um, and it's uh, you know there's some serious issues um, to, that that they deal with in, in the story, and you know it, it you know people get killed. And it's not again you know it's different, very different than than the uh, Rodgers and Hammerstein mu musicals. Uh, this one was very real, but you know that's that's one of the greatest musicals of all time. And you know, and for for me on the musical end to be able to actually conduct that, boy, what an what what an opportunity! That that to me is uh, for opera conducting La Boheme, and, and it's the La Boheme of musicals. <laughs> I had now been six years removed from uh, really being a part of the Bay Area, six years removed from working with the orchestra during that time because it had now been taken over by other student conductors. So I reached out to my old, old teacher, uh, David Milnes, who was uh, you know, my conducting teacher for a long time while I was at Berkeley. And I explained to him sort of the situation. And I said, you know, uh, you know, this is actually a moment for me where I would actually like to mentor somebody. And, um, you know, I, I would like um, someone, one of the student conductors to rise and, and conduct the show uh, along with me. And uh, sure enough, uh, he, the timing was right. He had a really, really brilliant student uh, working with him currently. And he said, um, you know, my student Jennifer is, is, is the one. Um, let's let's have her do it, and I said great. Um, and so I, I told Miss Gear, okay, let's let's do it. And what I found was that the orchestra never lost steam. They kept going. You know, they they've been doing crazy stuff just as they were doing when when I was there. And I you know when I got up there to read the score for the first time, it it it's like as if I never left. Um, and I was just so happy to hear this. And <laughs> I knew this was going to be good. And, um, and then, of course, I made a visit out to, to see the students in action, to learn a part of the show. And, you know, I hadn't seen a lot of these kids in a long time. And I walked in, and I will never forget this because it's such a memorable moment for me. I walked in, and they were in the scene where Tony is about to sing Maria. And it was played by one of my former students, Ryan Doyle, who I knew as a little kid and had all grown up. And there he was, he was singing it. Miss Keeler knows because she was right next to me. I, all I could do was I, 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 I held my breath. And then I, I reached over to grab her hand and I looked at her. And the only thing that happened was a tear fell down. And, and I said, all I could tell her was, no, this can't be. There's no way. It was the most amazing singing I had ever heard in, in a long time. And which, with just such conviction, such passion, I knew, oh my gosh, this show is going to be really special. I rehearse that orchestra like nothing else. It, it is a difficult score, um, as a lot of you may know. Um, 
and of course the choreography it's, it's there's a lot of dance elements in this and uh, those kids were working their tails off it really pushed everyone to, to their limits and everyone went beyond it and it just you know, I, you know I still can't believe it happened these young people and I'm talking young to put on such a mature show it was just absolutely breathtaking. You're not joking. I have not yet learned how to joke that way. Think now, I never will. I was just so grateful that I could be a part of that again.